What's up guys? So welcome to the channel or welcome back for those of you returning. Today we are going to be talking again about Armaton's 3 inch tadpole. And so basically in my last video I had filmed a whole bunch of stuff for that video that I really didn't include because I wasn't really happy with the setup. Basically what I did was swapped everything over from my 2.5 inch tadpole to my 3 inch tadpole. So I was using an 1103 8000kV motor and I was using these old Tattoo 450 milliamp hour 3S batteries and these are a 45C battery and they use the little red JST connector. And the reason I use those batteries was just because I already had them from a previous build from like three years ago. And they work decent on the 2.5 inch setup, but basically once I upgraded to the three inch base plates, that setup just could not spin a three inch prop very well. So basically what I had done was tried the HQ three by 2.5 by three props. And I had also tried the Gempfan 3016s and I didn't include any flying in that video with the HQs because that setup with these HQ props was pretty much worthless. This. The 1103s just weren't big enough to spin a three inch prop that's that aggressive and the batteries just didn't have enough C rating to keep up with a three inch prop basically. So I basically had no power. Um, my batteries were sagging really, really badly. Uh, I couldn't punch out hardly at all. Even just cruising around, my batteries were sagging like really bad and it was better on the 3016s, but I still wasn't really happy with it. So I knew I needed to do something different, either get bigger motors or get some better batteries. And it turned out that I had a bent shaft on one of my motors and that's how I had been flying it so I just decided to start there so instead of using the 1103 8000 kV I went ahead and upgraded to these these are the iFlight 1206 6500 kV and I was hoping that that would help but I knew that a bigger motor was going to draw more current but I thought the lower kV might kind of cancel out some of that and it was a little bit better but it really wasn't a whole lot better my batteries were still sagging really bad so what I ended up doing was I ordered some of these these are the Infinity 450 milliamp hour 85C batteries and these use an XT30 connector. The difference was absolutely night and day. This thing was just an absolute beast and I basically crashed it within like the first five seconds because I just was not used to how much power this thing has. Ooh. But yeah, basically I just wanna recommend that you have some decent batteries with an XT30 connector. And then I would definitely recommend going with a bigger motor than like an 1103. I would say go with like an 1104 even or 1105, but ideally these 1206s are just monsters. And I really think that the 6500 KV is just about perfect for a three inch uh, toothpick style setup. So basically that's really all I had. So let's go ahead and head up to Jefferson Park so I can show you guys how this setup flies. Here we are at Jefferson Park. It's beautiful, it's just perfect. There's no wind whatsoever. The sun is shining and there's no clouds. I did bring my marmot with also. So if we have time, I might get some packs in with the marmot too because it's been a while. I have some new GNB 1250 milliamp hour 6S batteries that I wanna try. So I'm gonna hopefully be trying a couple different props out as long as nobody shows up and I have to leave. I thought I brought some 3016s with. I only have one set of those left, but I did not bring them. But I have the HQ 3 by 2.5 by 3 and then we also have some of these Emacs Avon props. These are 3 inch props that I'm probably going to try. So let's get this all set up and show you guys how this setup flies.
So basically this thing is flying absolutely amazing. The last couple times that I flew it up here or at all, it was like just really windy out and I was really struggling to get a decent PID tune on it, but I basically got it as good as I could. And now today when there's no wind, it's flying like absolutely perfect. There's like not even any prop wash. So basically what I wanna do now is try out those Emacs props. So I'm gonna throw those on and give those a try. And if any of you guys are interested in the PID tune that I'm using on this three inch setup, I will discuss that at the end of the video. I'll go over that and these PID tunes I was using on my 2.5 inch setup because I've had a lot of questions on both. And I'm also gonna be announcing the winners to the Cinerad giveaway at the end of this video. So if you guys entered into that giveaway, that is going to be at the end of this video. I'm going to announce who wins the FX Cinerad, so. All right, so we got the Emacs props on. This is what they look like. I'm not sure which, they look like a really aggressive pitch, but I'm not exactly sure which ones these are, but they're the Emacs Avon three inch props. So let's get a battery on these and try them out. So those were the PIDs that I've been using on my 3 inch and 2.5 inch setup. I know I went through those really fast, so if you need to go back and rewind and screenshot that, feel free. I am by no means an expert at tuning, but that is just kind of what I came to after playing with the PIDs for a while. That's what uh, I ended up with and it flew really well for me. So it should at least be a good starting point for some of you guys if you're gonna be flying one of these 3 inch tadpoles. So now we're gonna go ahead and pick the winner of the Cinerat giveaway from my last video. So. So we have the video here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this here. We got the YouTube comment picker. I'm not going to allow replies or duplicates. So we have 49 comments. So here is your winner of the Cinerat giveaway. Him, why name? Hi, my name's Joel. Joel. Well, Joel, you just won a ethics center at. So if you're seeing this, I'm gonna go back and comment on your comment on that video. 
so hopefully that you get notified of the giveaway and uh, we will be in contact and I will get your Cinerat frame sent out to you. So that is going to be it for this video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.